This question belongs to engineering mathematics subject and was asked in GATE CSE 1992. So the question states, if G is a group of even order, even order means it has even elements or we can say two n elements, then show that there exists an element A which is not equal to E where E is the identity element in G such that A square equals to E. So e, if E is the identity element of the group, if E is identity element, then we need to show that there exists an item element A such that A square equals to E such that A is not an identity element which means A is anything apart from that identity element. So how we will show this? So here we can do it by contradiction. We can do it by contradiction. Assume that there is no element such that there doesn't exist any element such that A square equals to E which means a square is not equal to e for any element a belongs to our group okay which means then what is the meaning of a square is not equal to e let us multiply a to the power minus 1 on both the sides so a to the power minus 1 not equal to e into a to the power minus 1 so which means a to the power 1 is not equal to a to the power minus 1 which means for a non-identity element A. So what does this mean? This means that the inverse of any element inverse of any element shouldn't be equal to that element. Shouldn't be shouldn't be that element itself. Itself. What happens if the inverse of an element equals to itself? So which means if x equals to x inverse, we can multiply x on both sides, so we will get x square equals to e and this fails our contradiction. So this shouldn't happen. Okay, now let us see what we can do. Okay, so we have to actually get at least one element has its own inverse. If we can found an element which has its inverse equal to itself like x inverse equals to x, then we can show that this assumption is wrong. This assumption is wrong, this assumption is wrong, thus our contradiction is wrong. So we have to just find an element whose inverse equals to that element. So what is our aim? Our aim is to find any one element whose inverse is itself the element. Okay. We need to just find that element. Okay, so how we will do this? So, uh, as G is, has an, G is a group of even order. So, let us assume number of items in G is 2n. Now, take the identity, identity out of this. So, if we take identity out of this, if we take G minus E. Why we take identity out? Because we know A shouldn't be equal to E. So, we take the identity out. So, we just have 2n minus 1 items. So we need to deal with this 2n minus 1 items and find an item whose inverse is that item itself. So how we will do this? So let us assume uh, we got an item x such that x inverse is not equal to x which means it is satisfying our contradiction. Then what we will do? If we found any item if inverse of x is not x and it is something like x inverse is y then what we will do? We will remove x and y. x and y will be removed from these 2n minus 1 items. Okay, which means if any item satisfies our contradiction, then two items will be removed. Okay, from this 2n minus 1 items. Each time we will remove two items. Whenever an item satisfies our contradiction, our claim, we will remove two items. So how many items do we, do we have? We have 2n minus 1 item. It is an odd number. Which means, if all the items satisfy our contradiction, then at the end, we will remain with 3 items. Then 3 minus 2, we will remain with 1 item. So at the end, we will be left with just 1 item. Now, we know this item, let us suppose it's Z. Then its inverse should be that one only. Why? Because it cannot map to the inverse of any other item. Like, Z cannot be mapped to Y, X or any other item. Because inverse is always unique. And inverse of this z, z inverse can't be equal to the identity element. Why? Because inverse of identity is identity itself. 
which means if we had 2n minus 1 item and we keep on satisfying our contradiction and removing 2 2 items then we are left with a single item and inverse of that single item should be itself only because it inverse can't be any other item and it inverse can't be identity because identity inverse is identity inverse identity only thus we got an item with z inverse equals to z thus if we multiply z on both the side then what we get z inverse into z equals to z into z so we get z square equals to e so we have got an item such that a square equals to e so this was our proof for the first part now let me just clear the screen out and show you this proof for the second part so it was just a proof based question it came in gate cse 1992 now theoretical explanation questions do not come but it can give you a base for like how can we prove the things out so let us see what is our second question the second question states consider the set of integers 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 24 together with two binary operations lcm which is lowest common multiple and gcd or we can say scf greatest common divisor or highest common factor which one of the following algebraic structures does this represent group ring field and lattice okay now let me first tell you what all these things are so what is a group Group means it should satisfy closure property, associativity property, activity property, existence of identity, identity and existence of inverse, of inverse. What is a ring? Ring means ring is an item with two operations like let us assume A plus and star. Then what it means? A plus A comma plus should be an abelian group. Should be an abelian group. And A comma star should be an semi group. Semi group. And star should be star should be distributed over plus, which means it should follow distributive property over plus. And what is a field? Field is also defined on two operations. Let us assume A plus and star. Then any thing is a field, which means A plus should be an abelian group. Should be an abelian group. And A comma minus with a star. should be an abelian group abelian group where e is the identity element and same like star should be distributed over plus okay now let us see so what all what is the abelian group abelian group is nothing but group with commutative property it is property okay now see if we can prove that something is not a group if something is not a group if something is not a group which means it do not satisfy closure associative existence of identity and existence of inverse which means it won't be an abelian group it won't be an abelian group okay it will imply this that it is not an abelian group. If something is not a group, then it is not an abelian group because abelian group is group plus commutative property. If it is not an abelian group, then it means it should it can't be a ring. It can't be a ring and it can't be a field. Okay, so let me write it over here. If it is not a group, then it implies it's not a field. And it's not a ring. Okay. Now let me clear this things out and explain it to you further. Okay. So what is this operation? So we can easily see 
that this operation is nothing but it is basically our d24 comma divide this is nothing but d24 comma divide lattice so what is the meaning of d24 comma divide over partial order relation divisibility divisibility okay where d24 indicates positive integral divisors of positive integral divisors of 24 so let us try to draw the map for this okay so map for this will look something like this here we have one then we will have two i will explain you this map two three then we have four we have six two six four twelve then we have eight and we have twenty four okay so see what this map indicates so this map indicates that if the item which is least upper bound is our if we have 2 and 3 then its least upper bound is 6 which is our lcm okay so least upper bound is nothing but its our lcm and what is our greatest lower bound greatest lower bound is our gct so see two items i pick any two items 2 and 3 what is their upper bound upper bound is everything 6 is an upper bound if you can match these lines like 4 can't be 12 is an upper bound 24 is an upper bound what is least upper bound it's 6 so lcm of 2 and 3 is 6 what is lower bound anything below 2 and 3 so 1 is a lower bound and greatest lower bound is 1 let us assume 8 and 24 what are lower bounds of 8 and 24 8 and we have 4 then we have 2 and we have 1 what is our greatest lower bound it's 8 so highest common factor is or greatest common divisor is of 8 and 24 is 8 Okay, so this is our map for this. Now see one thing. If we take an item eight, so does we can say that? So what what is our identity element? Let us find the identity for each. Identity for LCM is one, because LCM of anything. Let us uh, suppose LCM of A and anything is that item only. And what is our identity for? Greatest lower bound for this it should be twenty four because GCD of any item with twenty four will always be that item only because twenty four is divisible by one two three four six eight twenty four so GCD of twelve and twenty four is twelve twelve six and twenty four is six three and twenty four is three okay but see whether there exists an inverse of an item or not so what is the inverse of an item? So inverse means if there exists an inverse of an item x, then LCM of that item, let us assume x, with its inverse is y, should be the identity element, which should be one. If there exists an inverse, so let us see whether there exists an inverse for eight. If there exists an inverse for eight, then LCM for eight with the its inverse y should be one. LCM should be one, which means least upper bound should be one of eight with any item. So, is there any item with which its least upper bound is one? No. Least upper bound of eight with any item. With twenty-four, it's twenty-four. With twelve, it's twenty-four. With four, it's eight. With six, it is not related. So, there is no item we can find, which means eight do not have an inverse. And even we cannot find any item GCD such that eight with that item is twenty four, which means there is no Y, which means there is no inverse for an item eight. So there is no inverse, which means it is not a group because group has an property that it should have an inverse property, like it should be closure, associative, existence of identity, and existence of inverse. So if inverse is not satisfied, then it means it's not a group. So it's not a group. So not a group. If not a group, then I prove that it it won't be abelian group. Thus, it won't be a field and it won't be a ring. So it will be a lattice. So answer is option D, lattice. 
there is another method of doing this where i will tell you the properties of lattice and you can solve it directly without checking for a group so what is a lattice lattice is nothing but you can write that lattice is a uh, you can say if it follows commutative property commutative property commutative property means let us assume uh, this is lcm and this is gct then we can write a hat b equals to b hat a and a or b equals to b or a this is commutative property so can we say that lcm and gct follows commutative property yes let us see associativity property associativity property we see a which means here we just change the brackets which means it is equal to a hat b hat c and a or b or c is equivalent to a or b or c does lcm of three items change like let us suppose we have lcm of a and b then its lcm is c does it matter whether we take a and b lcm first or b or c lcm first no it do not matter you can check it so it follows associativity property third it should follow idempotence property these are the properties of lattice what lattice should follow so what is idempotence property which means if we take lcm and gct with the same item then we should get the same item so what is lcm of let us lcm of 3 and 3 it's 3 only what is gcd of 5 and 5 it's 5 only so then it follow the idempotence property too let us see fourth fourth it should follow absorption law what is absorption law which means a gcd a or b should be equal to a and a lcm a and b should be a so let us verify it with the help of an example so if we take gcd of 8 with lcm of 5 and 10 so what is its value what is the lcm of 5 and 10 so its lcm is least common multiple so it should be 10 and what is the gcd of 8 and 10 8 and 10 has a gcd greatest common divisor so it follows this property both the properties are fo followed thus you can see that it is a lattice okay thus you can either do it by this method or the previous method